सो हाउ इट कैन हेल्प इन देयर करियर वाइज If you guys can actually expand your expertise in mobile apps as well, I am bringing all of my technical experiences as well as the vulnerabilities that we exploit. Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting podcast from Breakfast Security. In this podcast, we are going to be talking about uh, an upcoming boot camp from Breakfast Security, which is Android penetration testing boot camp. Along with me joining, we have Tarak Sakadande, who is going to be instruct instructor for this boot camp. So, Tarak, can you please introduce about about yourself and tell audience in brief about your boot camp? Surely, this is Tarak Sakadande. I work as a senior security consultant at at Fox Security, and we are going to kick off the Android pen testing boot camp on sixth of September. So, we are going to learn a lot of things. Likewise, understanding Android applications, exploiting them, finding vulnerabilities, pen testing, and basically the most exciting part that is creating it in a final deliverable that is for clients. And how are you going to do that? By writing a comprehensive end-to-end -end client penetration testing report. Okay, so Tarak, um, most of us or penetration testers are familiar about web application penetration testing, right? Yes. Um, but many of them don't know that there is another vertical which is mobile application penetration testing, right? Mm -hmm. So, so let's suppose who someone who wants to switch to mobile application penetration testing how web application knowledge will help them or second question mm -hmm. adding the second question let's suppose is someone who don't know anything about web application how they can switch to um, um, android penetration testing is there any prerequisite the, like my question whether web is a prerequisite for this or not okay amazing question actually mm -hmm. so the thing is in android pen testing when you talk about the term it's more about finding vulnerabilities in the android applications right. okay the fact that you ask me about learning web applications is it a prerequisite in android i would say yes because uh, majorly the net so a lot of companies what they do is basically they are making applications on their web applications mm -hmm. as well as on their mobile devices right. okay so the main communication that is happening in different functionalities is through apis or different web web application endpoints right. so in android architecture we not only try to exploit configuration based on device level mm -hmm. which is the android pen testing part mm -hmm. but also we are going to tamper the network request mm -hmm. how are we going to do that is when whenever we use normal applications mm -hmm. we are going to intercept the we are going to first bypass ssl pinning mm -hmm. after that we are going to be able to intercept the network requests mm -hmm. that are being sent between the application and the server and that is where some part of web application pen testing would be there as well okay so basically you're saying uh, if they have a basic web knowledge then it would be good right okay yeah. so i think uh, so i think for the audience who don't know anything about web application hacking and they want to join your boot camp i think what they can do they can uh, um, take our courses on web application hacking sure. uh, we have uh, i um, i think yeah, we have two courses which is web application hacking basics mm -hmm. and then we have web application hacking advanced course uh, which is already hosted on uh, um, academy.redforsec.com so what uh, you guys can do learn about web application hacking and surely that knowledge is going to help in the android penetration testing boot camp as well Okay, Absolutely. so uh, Tarak, on on that note, so what makes this Android penetration testing bootcamp different from other similar courses that are out there in the market? Okay, this is something which is very commonly asked. So likewise, uh, even I get questions like, well, hey, why why do why should we go for the courses or bootcamps that has been offered by Red Fox Security, right? Mm -hmm. So first thing is. all of these courses or i must say this boot camp is tailored by me who works as a senior security consultant mm -hmm. already so i uh, this i am bringing all of my technical experiences as well as the vulnerabilities that we exploit in our pen testing engagements mm -hmm. we are going to mimic all of those things in this boot camp so now if a student actually enrolls in that he is not only going to learn about exploiting vulnerabilities mm -hmm. but also understand certain basics as well mm -hmm. now the next part which helps a stand out from other courses in the market is precise reporting mm. so at the end of the day you as a pen tester let's say there are a lot of people in this market who want to get job ready right they need job ready skills mm. and uh, just learning about vulnerabilities or just uh, answering theoretical questions is something that is old fashioned yeah. you get vulnerable apps or clients need more of more of experience right. so how do we do that is basically we are not only test 
trying to help you out with testing or exploiting things in mobile applications but how to actually report it in a format which is uh, which is in compliance with security standards that are being followed by companies as well okay so basically this is going to be technical plus you are going to teach teaching them um, report writing skills uh, soft skills that they exactly. must have so to get a job in this market yes so likewise you are going to have interview questions mm -hmm. also you are going to have how, how to write a complete report okay. also real time labs mm -hmm which are specifically tailored in a way that will make you pen test ready okay, I think and soft skills as well so likewise whenever you are communicating with clients you need to understand as to what all things to discuss or in the report what are the specific things that you need to stress on more everything yes, so Tarak um, I think this bootcamp is going to be delivered in four sessions yeah. uh, four Saturdays I think we are taking so yes. so in these four sessions what are the topics Okay. Uh, that you are going to discuss or you are going to teach. Can you, you know, get in details of the topics? Surely. So likewise, uh, let's say there. Are, this is going to be uh, the bootcamp is going to kick off on sixth of September. There are going to be four sessions on each Saturday. Mm -hmm. So likewise, we are first in the first session. We are going to understand the basics of what how Android architecture works, mm -hmm. what the setup, how to set up your pen testing lab, yeah. and then basically understanding uh, what is static analysis. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about pen testing Android, there are two things. There is static analysis and there is dynamic analysis. Okay. But in this as you rightly asked the question, what's going to be covered in the mm -hmm. session one, it's more about understanding, mm -hmm. setting up the pen testing lab, and then covering static analysis. Mm -hmm. We are going to do static analysis using JADX GUI, as well as we are going to use an automated framework called MoBSF. Again, trust me, we are at Red Fox, we are someone who believe completely in manual mm -hmm. testing, but definitely I'm going to help, you out, help people out with some automated tools as well. In the next session, we are going to learn more about uh, runtime analysis analysis which is the second part dynamic analysis part where we are going to learn about runtime uh, analysis code manipulations likewise using Frida, Frida unhooking hooking scripts also we are going to use objection and that's like more of manipulating the data in runtime okay and also SSL pinning bypass and a lot of stuff. In the third session, we are going to move towards more complex attacks or those which are very much commonly known in the real world environments like insecure data storage, insecure logins, content providers, frameworks, all of that. And the fourth session, we are going to learn into more, uh, more advanced ones which are not that co commonly known, but likewise uh, exploiting methods, insecure activities, broadcast receivers, and also I'm going to brief out with the final exam and what all structure we guys need to follow. And again, if anyone misses out on any of this information, mm -hmm. they can check the whole curriculum in the academy.edfoxic.com as well. Yep, yep. I think lots of uh, exciting uh, content that you're going to cover. I think it, it's exciting me. I think obviously it is going to excite uh, our yes. um, fellow um, listeners as well. So likewise, why did I say about our website is because these terminologies might just sound something pretty much new for the audience who want to enroll, right? So, yeah. And uh, I think he, he, while talking about the course uh, structure, I think you mentioned briefly about the tools. Yeah. Can you tell, um, are, are these are the only one tools or there are any other tools or framework that you're going to use in, in, in the bootcamp? Surely, so we are going to use a lot of other tools as well, but these are the major ones that are very much tailored to your sufficient needs. So likewise, let's say you want to do static analysis. Mm -hmm. So you are going to use a JADX GUI or you can use MobSF that will help you out. So yes, there are, but again, there are definitely other ways to exploit stuff around with different mm -hmm. tools. And we are also going to cover that as well. Likewise, Drawser, Objection and all of that. Yeah. Um, so Tarak, um, I think we... Oh, um, I'm so sorry about, yeah. sorry to cut you off. Mm -hmm. We are also going to use Burp Suite. Okay. Likewise, we had a small conversation uh, where we were saying that, hey, uh, how good you, does does web application knowledge act mm -hmm. as a prerequisite? Right. So yes, we are going to learn a bit of Burp Suite as well for the folks who are new to it. It is going to be a beginner friendly course only, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and you also cover topics like reversing, static and dynamic as you mentioned, right? But reversing is there or not? Yes. Reversing is there as well. So we are going to use APK tool. We are going to decompile the APK application, then run through a source code analysis. Also, we are going towards the manifest file, then analyzing that, and again, going to the resources section where you have strings and other data that is basically present in the application. So now we are going to tamper with all of these values, rebuild the APK again, 
and then exploit vulnerabilities okay nice nice so tarak let's suppose that someone who is already a web application penetration tester mm. and uh, they are joining this boot camp okay uh, which is android penetration testing boot camp so how it can help in their career wise okay so like always sashi uh, you know we both have been in the security space and we have been working and as well we are interviewing people a lot so the most commonly projects that people get so okay likewise the first thing is uh, obvious you are upgrading your skill set again cyber security is a vast field if you if you are a person who has more technical expertise in different fields that is something that is creditable for you in the longer run as well right so you as a learner or an enthusiast you don't want to limit yourself to one specific topic again uh, if you are talking about jobs majorly the projects that security consultants deal with on a regular basis is basically application security so that involves web application security and mobile application security so if you guys can actually expand your expertise in mobile apps as well i mean that's fairly an amazing deal for them for in their offices as well right right i think uh, we have seen lately that uh, uh many of the mobile uh, many of the web applications are now switching to mobile applications yes. right um if we take uh, um banking sector we all we always do banking we we have banking application we have uh, our health application we have our grocery applications yeah. i think um people used to do shopping and everything yes. online using the web application now they are using android applications yeah. and ios applications right exactly. so i think uh, so in your experience is that uh, the number of people are increasing right they are yeah. who are using mobile applications Definitely, so yes. are we getting uh, so basically the numbers are matching with the pen tests we are getting on the mobile uh, on the you know android yeah. mobile side Definitely. of things yeah so it is uh, growing right the yeah. we are getting more and more engagements uh, android as well exactly so th- i i would let's say let's take a story like scenario okay so back in time whenever a person or people used to think about starting a business the mm-hmm. first thing they thought about was web applications right, right? because uh, at that time the architecture was not that strong and people did not really have those uh, user friendliness with mobile phones i must say mm-hmm. but now if you see majorly there are people who probably don't have a laptop or but they have mobile phones yeah. and even internet being all all were around thank you to certain people mm-hmm. and we, people have their 4g networks already right so they are using mobile applications so now the basis as businesses and companies are actually shifting towards uh, hey you guys the people who are familiar with web apps you are good but now we have to gravitate towards mobile applications as well so now there's more demand mm-hmm. so and now if obviously if in the security space it naturally gravitates towards the part where the demand is more so that is something why people need to learn a mobile app pen testing as well android being the top okay okay i think on that note um, tarak we can uh, wind up this podcast i think audience now has a a better a clear picture about the boot camp that you are going to deliver what are you going to teach what are the topics what are the soft skills what are the report writing skills uh, yes. that uh, you are going to make them learn okay So yeah um Tarak thank you for that um again guys if you don't know about Redfor Security um Redfor Security is a cyber security firm which uh, provide penetration testing services in different domains of cyber security um Redfor Security has another vertical called Redfox Academy where we pen testers who are working on the day to day basis create courses boot camps uh, for the audiences who want to learn about um cyber security if you're interested in cyber security and more about learning cyber security you can check out the web page which is academy.redfoxsec.com apart from that we have our youtube channels on which we push lots of free content so please check out our youtube channel which is red for security apart from that we also have a regional challenge called regional challenge called red for security bharat which have lots of regional um um content about cyber security um yeah guys please follow us on all of on all that for security socials um if you like this podcast give a, give a thumbs up and tarak any closing notes and otherwise we can yeah it's it's just that be curious keep learning and check out the boot camp as well and also you can check out different courses i think so she did a quite a great job briefing you out about academy that's okay. it yeah thank you guys